Grammar 3 for Level 3 Students Unit 9 Models Part 1 Polite Requests with Would you mind? Would you mind if I? Would you mind if I is used to ask permission. It is followed by the simple past form of the verb. Examples Would you mind if I switched on the TV? In this sentence, the verb is in the past form, and which means is it all right if I switch on the TV? Though the verb is in the past, but it is giving the information that someone is asking permission in the present. And eventually the answer is, no, not at all. It means that the person has no problem if you switch on the TV. Another example, would you mind if I close the window? Again, the verb is in the past form, but it is giving the meaning that is it all right if I close the window? And the response is, no, not at all. The person has no problem if you close the window. But we have to remember that typical answer is no, which means the person has no problem. But if it is yes, it means that really the person minds if you close the window or if you switch on the TV. Would you mind? Would you mind is used to ask someone to do something. It is followed by the ing form of the verb. Examples. Would you mind switching on the TV? It means that you are asking someone to switch on the TV. The person is responding this way. Sure. It means that the person will switch on the TV. Another example. Would you mind closing the window? You are requesting someone to close the window. And the response is, sure, the person has no problem to close the window. He will close the window for you. The typical answer is, sure, okay, which means the person agrees to do so.